All right, so morning to everybody, not afternoon and good, good morning because it doesn't matter now. And uh, today we're going to learn about the uh, wine regions of Germany. So let's share the screen. Now please understand uh, why I'm sharing this thing once again, because German wine regions are really slightly uh, different than we uh, think because German wine region is a uh, slightly bit of tough as well as uh, the names are a little difficult. So that's the reason I believe that uh, German names needs to be pronounced well. So that's the reason I have decided to do a wine lecture like this. So what will happen, you just put your earplugs on and listen to the pronunciation when I make, because this will play an important role when you come for the German class. So now, wines of Germany. Germany. When I say this word Germany, uh, and the picture that comes to everybody's mind is the a leader who is also known as a despotic and as well as the autocratic, who was the cause of the World War II. It is the Adolf Hitler. Hitler, sorry. Now Germany is not famous for only Hitler, but as well as it is also famous for the great beers of the world because we all know that in the beer chapter we have studied the October Fest, the biggest beer festival on the planet happens in Germany, in Bavaria region of Munich. On the other hand, you can see some black color uh, sausages. This is the land of sausage also. So all this great quality of sausages come from Germany as well. It's like a black pudding sausage and all everything. Okay, spat burgunder and there is a uh, Bradshaw, and there is another thing called Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is a pickled cabbage that also come from Germany. And the third picture is one of the greatest footballer on the planet. That's Miroslav Klose, the highest goal scored by a gentleman, uh, a footballer in the World Cup. In 2018, mm -hmm. when Germany beats Argentina in the final, that time he scored the highest number of goal. And uh, he has crossed the record of Ronaldo from the Brazil. Also, Germany is known for the greatest car on the planet. It is nothing but BMW. So BMW is also originated from Germany as well. So this is a land of rise and fall in 2000, sorry, in uh, World War II when Hitler lose to the United Force of America and the British. That time, the entire Germany was co collapsed and there was something called they burned the entire city of Berlin and the Berlin was divided into, Germany was divided into two parts. One is East Germany and one is West Germany. West Germany's capital used to be Bonn and East Germany was known as a Berlin. Then in 1990, when Angela Merkel, the first woman chancellor of uh, Germany, when he became the uh, president of the country, that time the Germany was once again united and the West Germany and the East Germany uh, merged together and the capital is known as Berlin now. And the Berlin Wall was constructed by the uh, United Force of America and the British in the time of the World War II. It was collapsed once again. So Germany is land of rise and fall and the people of Germans, it is said that the, it's better to have a heart of Germany if you want to win a war because they are the rulers on the planet. One of the richest economies of the planet. These are the also country who is also known for its uh, greatest quality of wines. Basically, Germany is specialized in white wines. So Italy, France are known for their red wines, but Germany is known for their white wine. Okay, so it's a big history with the Germans. And uh, let's start and see that how the German wines look like. First thing that we learn is the wine law of Germany. Now, Germany wine law is divided into lots of uh, uh, categories. The first one is the table wine, or we known as a red, white, and rose wine. Table wine in Germany is known as a Tafel wine. Now, the Tafel wine is classified into two parts. Once again, one is a, now, this is very important. Listen to this pronunciation. It's called, there is something called Deutsche Bank, right? One of the most greatest, richest bank on the planet. Same way, there is something called Deutscher Tafel wine or German table wine. And there's something called Deutscher Land wine. So one is Deutscher Tafel wine and Deutscher Land wine, not land wine, it's land wine. 
Now, Deutscher Tafel wine produced the basic quality wine that grapes grown from Germany in the category of wine merchant and allowed to bring the wine from the different countries also. Okay. Then Deutscher Land wine is known as a Windepace in the 17 designated regions of Germany in where the country wines is to be produced. And the next quality is very important. It is known as a Qualität Swine. So the wine in Germany is known as a Wein, W-E-I-N. So this is known as a Qualität Swine or quality wine. Now under the Qualität Swine, there is something called Qualität Swine Bestimtar an Bagebiet. I repeat again, please listen to this. This is the purpose of this class. It says, Qualität Swine, Qualität Swine, Bestimtar an Bagebiet. Qualität Swine, Bestimtar an Bagebiet. This is a quality of wine. This is like a table wine we have. But in French, we know that these, some of the wine that stays in the country, some of the wine go out of the country. These are those great quality wine, which is known as a Qualität Swine Bestimtar an Bagebiet. 13 designated areas are there, which is also known as a Einzilag or Gross Large. Now, in the France, the vineyards are known as Chateau. In Germany, it is known as Einzilag or Gross Large. Also, there is another classification, probably the best quality. Now, this is the superior quality of wine, which is known as a Qualitets Meat Pradikat. Qualitets Meat Pradikat are the most expensive wine, which never stays in Germany, but it is go out of the country. It has a six categorization, and most of the wines produced under this category are sweet in nature. Let's take a look. The first one is a cabinet, not cabinet, it's cabinet. So cabinet is when the wine grows in the... Uh, French vineyard, the people over there used to store this wine in their cabinet or almari or uh, cupboards. That's how the name came. And it's a very light quality of wine. Then we move towards the slightest sweet version. Spätlese. I repeat the name again. Spätlese. Sweet version of German wine. The grapes are harvested when it is get over ripened. Zada pakne ke baad is grape ko harvest ke jata hai. And after that, it grapes become very much sweet and very much uh, like a fuller, fuller taste of a wine. So this is a sweet version. Now, sweeter side is also there. Now, once again, Ausleza. This is called Ausleza, Australia and Ausleza. Another sweet version of wine that's manufactured, the late harvested and sugar enriched grape. Obviously, it is once again sweeter version. It's called Biernos Leza. I repeat again, beer nos leza, beer nos leza. Rare version of uh, wine grapes, which is also made not from the over-ripened grape, but from the botrytis cinerea affected grapes. Now, botrytis cinerea is basically a Nobel Rod scientific name, which is also known in Germany as a pure tiro Nobel. You can take a look what I'm trying to say, pure tiro Nobel. Now, another sweet, this is a sweetest, this is a sweet version, very sweet version, but like sweeter, sweet, sweeter, uh, you know, sweetest, and very, very sweet. It's something called Trocken Bernes Ausleza. I repeat again, Trocken Bernes Leza. Once again, Nobel Rot affected grape, and these grapes are very, very thick in nature because sugar becomes very thick. And when the sugar becomes very thick, the gaps also become very thick. Just looks like a Rasgulla ke jo chansni hota hai, basa us type ki wine hota hai. Now, grapes you can make from anything. A Riesling grape or Chardonnay can also be made from Trocken Bearden style. Finally, there is something called ice wine. Now, ice wine is a very, very interesting factor, a typical and very interesting method also. Here, there is no Botrytis scenario or no Nobel Rot, no overripened grape. So, what these people does actually, they allow the grape, they ferment, produce the grape. And allow the winter to come. When minus 8 degrees Celsius, it naturally snowfall. Hota hai. And at the same time, the entire wine, I mean like entire grape got uh, shrink. You can take a look at the picture. The grape got shriveled and get got cooled just because of the ice on the top of the grape. And after that, in the flood light, Rath ke andhere mein, is grape ko hand pick kiya jata hai. It's a very, very important style. And that's why ice wine, once again, sweet in nature. But the Trocken Beardness Ausleza is the sweetest version. This is the sweetest version. Very sweet, medium sweet, and sweet. And this is sweet, but not that quality. 
So grapes will become here pretty sweet style, but due to the ice wine category, this is a very, very famous profile in the market. Okay. So that's about the wine laws. So once again, we repeat Deutscher Tafel wine, Deutscher land wine, so the table wines, local wines. Qualitets wine. Namsi Patalagra Hame. This is called Qualitet Swine. And under that, there is something called Qualitet Swine Bestimtar and Bagebier. Vineyards in Germany known as Einzilag or Grosslage. And there is something called Qualitets Mit Pradikat. Pradikat means superior quality wine. And here is your classification: Kabinet, Spetlese, Auslese, Bearness, Auslesa, Trocken Bearness, Auslesa, and Ice Wine. Go to the grape variety now. So these are your famous grape varieties of uh, German. The German is a land of white wine. So Riesling. Riesling is a grape that covers the entire area of Germany. Every region has got Riesling. It's like uh, Riesling is some, some, something like uh, Gehu ya fir Chabal of India. It's widely produced everywhere. Moselle, Rheingau, and Pals. These are the regions where the uh, white wine grapes are produced. Let's give that type. Muller Thura Brown. Now, as you can take a look, it has got a very, very citrus flavor, fruit flavor. Now, since Germany is a cooler climate, obviously the fruits have a very nice of, uh, I mean, the grapes have a very, very nice fruity nature. There's something called Muller Thura Brown. Muller Thura Brown is an everyday wine consumption. It's a basically a blend between Madeleine and Ries, uh, Riesling grape. So uh, it also creates some delightful uh, wine also. Silvana, it's a peachy flavor, like peach flavor and passion fruit flavor. Once again, cooler climate, the fruity in nature, uh, high temperature climate, acidic in nature. Now, Silvana is a wine that is found in Rhinesen and Franconia wine region. It has a taste of your peach and rhubarb. Escalaba, there is another famous grape which is also produced in the Alsace region of France, which is known as the Kashmir of India. It's called Gevustra Minor. It has got a flavor of rose, uh, lychee, gay fruit, and cinnamon. It is a very, very spicy wine. It is said that the wine flavored like a spice because of the ginger uh, flavor. That is why it is uh, uh, asked that Gevustra Gev is a white wine, where you can suggest with all the Indian spicy and Thai and Indian spicy food. Okay. There is something called Karner, Rulander, and Morio Muscat. Karner, Rolander, and Morio Muscat. These are the wines. That, grapes are also there. White red. In the red, there is a variety called Spat Burgunder, also known as a Pinot Noir, originated from the uh, France, but Germany is the largest producer of Pinot Noir grapes. It has the flavors of your mushroom, clove, raspberry, and ripe raspberry, and it goes well with the pork, lamb, and your uh, mushroom. Don Fedler, very thicky. Velvety color wine comes from here. It has a flavor of your plums and cherries. Trollinger. Trollinger. Trollinger has a flavor of smoky and strawberry. And it has come from the Baden region of Germany. Now, you can take a look where the Germany is located. Germany is lo uh, located at the, at the Europe. It has completely landlocked, but one portion has got slight limit of seaside. And the other areas covered with an Atlantic Ocean close to the France, French area. At the time of World War II, this entire area, apart from England, this France, this Hungary, all the area under the command of, uh, uh, under the command of your, uh, uh, Adolf Hitler. Under the uh, below picture, there is a wine region. You can see the wine region names are AHR, Milterhain, Moselle Saar Ruar, Rheingau, Nahe, Falls, Rheinhessen, Franken, Utemberg, and Baden. AHR, Milterhain, Moselle Saar Ruar, Rheingau, Nahe, Falls, Rheinhessen, Franken, Utemberg, and Baden. Basically, if you see what is happening here, this is the blue color ka line. Dikh raha hai. This is your Rhine River, Rhine Nadi, which is famous Nadi. Hai. It is said, in the time of the World War II, this entire river was turned into a red color because lots of Germans and European soldiers and American soldiers sacrificed their life for the independence from the uh, Nazi army. So you can take a look. This is the Rhine River and all the wine region just on the banks of it. So from, from the HR, 
AHR, Milter Hay, Mosel Sar Ruer, everything on the bank. And they've got all the uh, uh, tributaries also here. So under the base of the tributaries, every wines has been uh, created. I mean, like all the vineyards are there. AHR is once again a famous red wine region where you have a spat burgunder. Once again, your red wine and Portuguese grapes are found. And it is the smallest wine region of Germany. The vineyards from this region are Hain, Mer, Shem, and Neunar. So once again, this pronunciation plays an important role in your life. So it's Hain, Mar, Shem, and Neunar. Neunar and Hain, Mar, Shem. A very beautiful village on the foothills of uh, Gross Large Mountain. It's a where ये wine manufacture होता है. This is what the small thing that you can write in the exam paper. And the next one is your Milter Hain. As you can take a look, this is very very small island. एक छोटा सा island है यहाँ पे. This island is known as uh, uh, Milter Hain. And ये जो चारों तरफ से जो पानी दिख रहा है आपको, this is nothing but Rhine uh, River. Another beautiful destination for all the uh, German people and from the people from the world. It is a land of white wine where 84.8% is a white wine that is made from Riesling and Mula Thuragao. 15% of red wine is Pat Burgunder and Karner. Primarily, it's a very white grape dominating region and Riesling region. Riesling is the star of this area. And remember one thing that Riesling, this is the place where the, we have learned that there's a champagne from uh, sparkling wine from France. It's like a uh, Astis Pumante from Italy. Same way, there is something called Sec. S e k t. Sec is also a famous sparkling wine that comes from Milterhain region of Germany. So you can take a look on the wine region map. AHR khatam hone ke baad, the Rhine nadi ke baju mein ek chota sa, uh, you can say, ek kazba type ka hai, chota sa shahar type ka hai, gaon hai, jaha pe ye maximum wine manufacture hota hai. इसके बाद आता है आपका मोजिल सार रूअर वॉग्स बोल के जैसे हमारे यहां पे देयर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड हिमालयन माउंटेन देयर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड वॉग्स माउंटेन वॉग्स माउंटेन के फुटहिल्स के नीचे राइन रिवर है और ये जो आप पिक्चर में देख सकते हो दैट यू कैन चेक अ लुक द एंटायर स्लोप इज अ वाइन या वाइन यार्ड्स एंड हियर इज योर राइन रिवर सो ऑन द फुटहिल्स ऑफ द ग्रॉस लार्ज वॉग्स माउंटेन एंड यू हैव गॉट ऑल दिस राइन रिवर now basically, Saar and Ruhr, once again, are tributaries of uh, Rhine River. Now you can take a look here. This is my mouse, where you can see that there are two rivers coming from here. One is a Saar and one is a Ruhr. And the entire this green color ka area, hai, that is known as a wine re region. And that is nothing but the uh, your uh, Moselle, Saar and Ruhr. Okay? The famous grape on this area are Muller Thuragao Riesling as a white, and also uh, there is something called red wine called a red grape called Elbling. It's also found in this area. And the famous vineyards of these regions are Castle, Ockflen, Zell, Piesport, and Grach. Castle, Ockflen, Zell, Piesport, and Grach. Now, Yahaki Jo wines, hai, these wines are very fresh and at the same time low in alcohol because. Agar aap dek sakte ho, if you take a look, this entire uh, area, I mean, this entire uh, foothills, you can see, is facing towards the sun. So direct heat of sun will come on this place. Also, there is a little bit of snow happens at the time of the winter. And that's the reason the wines over here are very low in alcohol, fresh and lively also. This is your Mosel, Saar, and Ruhr. Now we go to the Rhine Gaon. This is the uh, another famous wine uh, region. It is famous because, first of all, this uh, area is famous only for the Nobel Rot because this region produced the uh, great quality of sweet wine. So sweet wine comes from this area and generally Nobel Rot ke saath hi aapka sweet wine ban sakta hai. And now you got this uh, famous red wine that come from this area is known as a hawk wine. As we know, that in France, in Bordeaux, the wines of Bordeaux are known as Clariat. Wines of Bordeaux are known as Clariat. Same way, there is something called Hock. So Hock wines are basically, Hock wines are basically comes from this village. There's a small village 
हॉकेम एंड हॉकहेम से एक छोटा सी वाइन आता है जिसका नाम है hawk wines now hawk wines are something which is very very famous in the european country like clarriet of france or champagne theek hai and now the grapes that come from the regions are rieslings and pat spat burgunder riesling and spat burgunder vineyards of this regions are johannesburg so johannesburg obviously we know the capital of south africa winkel hockheim and ostrich Ostrich, Hockheim, Winkel, and Johannesburg. These are the wine regions. I mean, the vineyards from where the where the Rhine now actually comes. Rhine has an another great wine region, a great star quality, and this also largest wine. सबसे ज़्यादा wine जो है वो यहाँ से आता है. The smallest was H A H R, and the largest is a uh, uh, Germany. Now, यहाँ पे क्या होता है? There is something called uh, Liba for milch. I repeat the once again. It's the pronunciation is something like let let's take a look. Live, live. Okay, L I E B. Live from milch. Live from milch. A great quality of wine. Internationally also famous, and it is made from the blend of your Riesling, Silvana, and Muller Thuragau. It's a land of Silvana. Okay. However, you will also have a Spat Burgunder Riesling also because Riesling is everywhere. रिजलिंग सब जगह है उसमें से कुछ जगह में सिलवाना भी मिल जाता है एंड स्पैट बुरगंडर भी मिल जाता है वाइन यार्स फ्रॉम दिस रीजन आर ओपन हेंग एंड बिंजन वी ऑल नो दैट फेमस इन्वेंट द फेमस साइंटिस्ट कॉल्ड रॉबर्ट ओपन हाइमर रॉबर्ट ओपन हाइमर वाज द इन्वेंटर ऑफ द एटॉमिक बॉम्ब दैट वाज ही वाज एक्चुअली फ्रॉम दिस राइन हेसन रीजन नाउ वी कम टू द फॉल्स इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्टर फ्रॉम द फॉल्स इज दैट it produce good quality white once again there's nothing so important but the interesting part is that people over here do not drink the wine in a wine glass they drink it in a this kind of glass take a look at this glasses ye hamare jo ghar mein jis glass pe hum jaise cold drink peete hai us type of glass hota hai ye and this glass are known as a scopen s c h o p p e n scopen naam ka ek chhota sa glass hota hai jahan se ye falls naam ki wine aata hai Now the famous grapes from this region are Morio Muscat, Silvana, Riesling, and Gay Vustra Minor. Okay, Gay Vustra Minor. The good quality of vineyards from this region. You can take a look. These are right Falls area. You got something called Bad Druckheim. What is it called? Bad, bad, bad. Bad means bad. And followed by there is something called Druckheim. So Bad Druckheim and Frost. These are the uh vineyards from this region so exam if this question come just write the small letters in the bullets on that's it aur kuch nahi karna hai aapko so the name of this wine region is pals not pap palaps it's something like this it's known as a pals okay baden the last part of the germany and baden is not good for good quality of wine because बैडन में प्रॉब्लम क्या हो रहा है कि बैडन इज लोकेटेड साउथ ऑफ जर्मनी यहाँ पे टेम्परेचर मैक्सिमम टाइम आपके समर एग्जिस्ट करता है एंड दैट्स द रीजन द वाइन्स ओवर हियर आर नॉट गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ वाइन बिकॉज वी ऑल नो मोर हीट द वाइट वाइन विल टर्न इन टू एसिटिक इन नेचर मोर कूलर क्लाइमेट यू हैव गॉट अ फ्रूटी फ्लेवर इन दिस वाइन एंड ऑल्सो आर फेमस ब्लैक फॉरेस्ट केक इफ यू रिमेम्बर इट्स कम फ्रॉम दिस रीजन because the black forest mountain is over here in the baden the grape variety of this regions are rulander uh, white ones are rulander riesling gewustra minor and spat burgunder are the red variety the wines of this region slightly in sparkling form yahan ke sare wine mein thoda sa basically jo white wine hote spritzig spritzig matlab sparkling in uh, german la language Vineyards from this region are Michelfeld, Durbach, and Zulzfeld. Michelfeld, Durbach, and Zulzfeld. I'm back. I'm saying that this pronunciation will cause you a problem. So I'm giving you this recording. Michelfeld, Durbach, and Zulzfeld. These are the vineyards of this Baden region. But one second, this is not good for the uh, wines because you know this uh, wines is created on a very Uh, high temperature and naturally the wine quality won't be good wurtemberg if anybody recalls in the class 5 chapter 5 standard of 5th uh, standard 
we have found that there is a famous uh, German person which is known as uh, Gutenberg. Gutenberg was a person who was invented uh, the printing press. आज जो ये जो printing press में paper छपता है, हमारा जो ये क्या बोलते documents वगैरह जो हम print करते हैं, ये जो printing press का जो concept है, जो जिसने invent किया था, that was Robert Gutenberg, and he was for this Wurtemberg region. Wurtemberg. It's not Gutenberg. It's called Wur. Temberg. Once again, Wur Temberg. It manufactured both red and white wines. Red wines are Don Pedler, Portuguese or Mularpe. White wines are Riesling, Mular Thuragao, and Karner. The region has a specialty wine because the region wine from this region are basically pink in color. जब ये wine manufacturer के बाहर आता है, इसको देखने में थोड़ा pink color का लगता है. ना red ना white. Obviously, pink wines in France. Are known as a rosé wine. Okay, it is known as a Schiller wine. S H I L L E R Schiller wine or uh, or, or 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 pink wine. Okay, so light brown or milk and your. So these are the important thing we need to know that the first one is a Schiller wine, which is your Wurtemberg. Then you have Pals, where these Copen glasses comes. Rhine Hessen, where you have the great wine called light brown or milk, light brown or milk, light brown or milk. Okay. Rain Gau, where we get the wines called Hockheim Village, the Hock wine, these are the famous areas of the wines in Germany. Okay, so people, once again, it is slightly bit of tough. That's why I decided to go for it. Then there is something called Franken, the great region of Germany, known as a Bavaria. So Bavaria is a region where we known for Ger in Germany in. Ger Germany, the Bavaria is a region where we have all the festivals, like we have called uh, our great uh, beer festival, Munich, that comes from this re uh, region. Okay, so here the wines produced are known as a steen wine because steen nam ka ek chota sa vineyard hai wahan pe. Maximum vineyards, matlab yehi wo ek lotta vineyard hai, jahan se maximum steen wine aap kya aata hai. And the steen wines are stored in a flat shape bottle just look like this it's known as a i repeat the word press control and a save in your head aapke dimag mein save karke rakh lijiye this is known as box beauty l i repeat again it's known as please listen carefully it's known as box beauty l box beauty l box beauty l so box beauty l is a wine is a type of bottle in which Franken wines are stored. The grapes from this regions are Muller, Thuragao, and Silvana. Okay, it is looks very tough, and that's why I want to give you this recorded lecture. Now, when you come to the class on Wednesday, please see the recorded lecture. Isko kaan mein earphone dal ke ap suniye, pronunciation ko jaan lijiye, then come to the class. If you come just like that, it will just go out of your head. Because the German wine names are the tough, toughest on the planet. Okay, so please, for an Indian, German wines are really, really tough. So I repeat again, the wine laws. This is a very, very important thing to understand. The first one is known as Tafel wine, in which we got this Deutscher Tafel wine. You know the Deutsche Bank, the famous German bank, and Germany is also known as Deutschland. Okay, Deutscher Tafel wine, Deutscher Land wine. Under that, uh, there is something called Kolitet swine, and in that Kolitet swine, there is something called uh, 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 your uh, Kolitet bestintar an bagebiet. Kolitet swine bestintar an bagebiet, an bagebiet. And the next one is Kolitet mit pradikat. Kolitet mit pradikat. You want to learn the Ger German wines? You need to watch the German football matches. You know, like Brand Munich clubs and all everything. At the same time, to uh, take a look at you know German football players' names are also different. You know, there is something called Miroslav Klose. There is something called Michel Bela. There is something called uh, Francis Beckenbauer, Lukas Podolski. All right, all these names are slightly bit of German teams. So if you watch German football league more. Like a Bundesliga, we all know the famous German football league. Like we have UEFA Champions League, or we have La Liga in Spain. Same way in India, we have ISL. Same way in Germany, there is something called uh, Bundesliga. So in the Bundesliga, there is a famous club known as a uh, Bayern Munich. 
okay so this how the things actually come and under the qualitet mit pradika you have got cabinet spatlese auslese biernos auslese trocken biernes auslesa trocken biernes auslesa and the last one is ice wine all right thank you very much